we'll do a quick video on the uh, full post grinder that I just made. When I say just made, I mean like it, it was like 35 minutes of work so far. Um, I needed a tool post grinder for uh, small internal tapers. And my old one I sold because for some reason people want to spend a lot of money on those giant old uh, tool post grinders. And they really don't do anything different than this or Dremel or, you know, the, the electric die grinder or even a pneumatic die grinder. You know, you get a 25,000 uh, RPM spindle going, uh, you, you get pretty good results. And then couple that with the compound rest, which right now mine isn't set for a good angle, but you set it to 45 and, you know, now, you, now you're moving in tents, which is pretty good. So this is what I came up with. I also wanted something small that I could uh, tuck away in a small drawer. This is a 500 watt spindle motor. It came with this bracket. It came with the hardware. I just had to make a back plate and and a piece to come to the to the uh, tool post. I was gonna make a I was gonna make one with dovetails and stuff. Unfortunately, all the all the ones that I had already made, I I used and I uh, turned into something already. So I would have had to cut a whole bunch of. Uh, dovetails but anyway so yeah it comes with that the hardware the motor obviously the spindle nose which is uh changeable right there you could just uh, take this off this is er11 you could put er16 or you could put er20 in there um whatever whatever you want to do you know if you want to run a bigger grinder wheel you put an er20 in there you could make like a 3 8 uh 3 8 hub and that'll give you a pretty good strength so this is actually turned to a, to a little bit of a taper now because I was wearing out the wheel testing it out to see how how much I was taking off. Um, currently it's just set up with the little power supply that it came with. And it's got this little potentiometer here. it this doesn't require like uh, a 30 part build series what I'll do is I'll unplug it I'll take the uh, bracket out and just show the bracket real quick so if anybody's making this uh, they don't have to waste a ton of time looking at uh, YouTube videos you could just order this all right we'll take it over to the bench put that up there so, oh, wrong ones. I just want to take off the tool post and show off the uh, the bracket. Really, the only thing I had to make so far. I got to come up with a box, and uh, and that's it. So there's the uh, bracket. I just welded it on. Really, nothing crazy. Uh, I did mill a notch in this side. It wasn't using a, such a thin piece of steel, and that was really it. And, uh, you know, I just made it center. I just assumed that that was a pretty good good spot. The only thing that uh, is a problem is when you take this guy and put it there, you can't use the, uh, the adjusting nut for the height. So there is room. There's a little less space on this side than that side. So you can make something that will just clear that. Or you can run an end mill straight down it, which is probably what I'll do. Just running that mill straight down it. That way, I have room for the adjusting nut. And I, I ordered another tool, uh, another tool holder, so I can just throw it on there and leave it on there. But that's it. That's uh, if you want to spend an hour and a half and get a tool post grinder for seventy bucks or whatever that, whatever that costs, you get that. You get this. Uh, no, the power cord doesn't come with it. I think this was off of like a, an old grinder or something that crapped out. So I just keep them around if I got to throw something out. And then uh, this one came with a potentiometer. Really don't need it. But I guess if you were going to use like an ER20 uh, nose on it and uh, uh, like make your own, maybe do like a, a three inch wheel or something, something like that, you'd probably want to slow it down a little bit because uh, that's a lot of. A lot of mass. Also, uh, depending on the grinding wheel you have, it might not be rated for the high RPM. I gotta figure out how to put a uh, a little RPM gauge on this. I'd like to have it, 
but that's it. I hope this helps somebody uh, with the tool post project.